Hey, it's Charlotte. And Riley. Welcome to our podcast about our top tens. Today we will discuss our top ten places we would like to travel worldwide. So to start, we'll try to get right into it about where we would like to travel as a dream vacation. As Riley just said, we're going to get right into it. We're going to start with our number ten, and then we're going to work our way up to our number one place that we want to visit. Where we're te- while we're telling y'all about the places we want to visit, we're also going to be talking about why we want to go to these places so much. What I mean by that is, is we're going to be talking, telling real facts to go along with our opinions about the places. Along with other things we already know about these places we want to visit or connections we have with these places. So, my number 10 is Australia. I think it's a cool place to visit. It is split into eight eight different states in one. I just have to be like, they're ginormous. I have wanted to go to Australia for a while, and I just think it's awesome how big it is and how much there is to explore and find out about. That's a really cool sounding place, and I'm kind of on the same page with you about hot places. My number 10 is Texas, and one of the few reasons that I love Texas so much is how nice and welcoming the people there are. So, for this one, I'm kind of doing a revisit because I have been to Texas before, and I love it so much. I wanted to revisit it. So, um, also, I would love to go to Bucky's. Now, if you don't know, Bucky's is the largest, is the world's largest convenience store. I also have been there once, but only for a few minutes because we were heading home after basketball tournament, and everyone was super tired. I would love to go back there and spend some more time there because of how cool everything is. Everything's huge there. They also have freshly made pork and such inside the store, which is, which I think is funky, but in a good way. I love the idea of Texas, but my number nine is Rome. Because, because I think, because some of my really good friends there, good friends live there, and I haven't got to visit them in a while. But what I think is cool is the amount of fountains they have in the city. I mean, they have more fountains than any place in the world. Ooh, I do like the idea of Rome, but I'm pretty sure that's on my list somewhere up there, too. However, my number nine is France. I like the idea of France, and I've heard that it's the city of love. I think it would be cute and would love to experience it, truly. I've kind of always wanted to go to Paris because my aunt used to teach French, at a school and she would take me out for like a girl's day and she would get me macaroons and she got me a crepe too also some of my friends have been there as well and every time they go i just want to be there so much so bad because of all the pictures they send me i personally think that it's such a beautiful city and would love to visit it my number eight would have to be italy because i think it's such a great place to travel to and it has such awesome landscapes so it's just definitely worth going to. I mean, the population is so big. I think it's amazing. It has 58 million people. I mean, that's really big. Wow, that's a large number of people. Speaking of a lot of people, did you know? do you know how many people in America have been to Disney? According to AmericanHistory.si.edu, 90 to, 70 to 90% of Americans have dis- visited a Disney park. I'm a part of the few percent that has not been to it, the park and I want to change that when I get older. I've heard such amazing things about it like how great the rides, food, employees and even the characters are. Even some of my friends have gone in they and they tell me all about how great and magical it is to experience it. I also feel like I have <laughs> I also feel like I've wanted to go ever since I was little and I think it would be such an awesome trip to make. Ooh, I love that place. But my number seven is going to have to be France. I think it's such a beautiful place to live and to travel to. I think it's amazing how many people live live there, though, because their population is 68 million people, and that's a lot of peoples. Peoples? Peoples. I do love France, as I said before. However, my number seven is going to have to be London. Did you know that nine million people live in London? I found that on a website named Eurostat. Stat. I also have always really wanted to go to London because it would be easy for me to communicate with people there, unlike France, for other places that speak different languages. 
Also, I have always wanted to see Big Ben. According to ThamesClippers.com, Big Ben is more than 160 years old. There are so many places to visit in London, it would be so cool to go to all of them. Agreed, Riley. That's such a cool place to visit. But not, my number six is England. I think it would be such a cool place to visit, and it has such pretty areas and small towns. You can look around at... You can look around at... A cool fact about England is that the King of England owns all of the swans on River Thames. I can tell we're kind of on the same track, but I'm, my number six is going to have to be Pompeii. I've heard such amazing things about how beautiful it is. Speaking of that, I just remember that Miss Albrecht was telling us Miss Albrecht was telling about us in class about how she went on a tour to Pompeii. She told us that it was a tra- uh, private tour. And she went to see the actual town that she was able to climb up the mountain, the volcano that destroyed the city. She told us that some of the locals think that the volcano may still be a bit active and are concerned that the volcano may erupt any time soon. Speaking of volcanoes, she told us that instead of what you see in movies and on TV and what they make it to be, the inside of a volcano is mostly sand and trees and such. However, this is part this may be partly just because it hasn't erupted in such a long time and that it's really old. That's super cool, Riley. My number five is Miami. I think Miami is such a beautiful place. A cool fact about about it is Miami is known for its golden beaches, and many people like to go to Miami and other hot places for their honeymoons. I also think it's super cool because Hawaii has been here for a very, very, or Miami has been here for a very long time, and Oh, it's very hot and sunny. I love beaches as well. So my number five is going to have to be Hawaii. Again, I have always wanted to dream. I have always dreamed of going to Hawaii for a nice, relaxing vacation with my friends or family. I have always wanted. I have always had a thing for beaches, so going to Hawaii would be perfect. I say this because Hawaii is an island, and if you didn't already know, all islands are fully surrounded by water. I have also heard from some of my friends that the sunsets there are the most beautiful thing they have ever seen, with all different color, different colors filling the sky. I also remember that Hawaii has multiple islands, and so for the sake of it, I am talking about the largest island that is named Hawaii. I also am a little bit scared of the wildlife that is around Hawaii because there are lots of sharks and stingrays and all that kind of stuff. My number four. My number four would probably be the Maldives because I think it's such a beautiful place with so many awesome things. A cool fact is that the Maldives is the world's flattest country. I mean, that's pretty cool. I Like, flat. Wow. I also think it's super awesome because I love beaches and I've always wanted to travel here just to feel the hot weather on my skin. So I already know that I've talked a little bit about another part of Rome, of Italy, but I love it so much that my number four is going to have to be Rome. For me, Rome just really sticks out to me because all of the history behind it. If you've seen on TikTok... People have been talking about the Roman Empire, which basically means something that you think about a lot. And I thought that was pretty cool because of how significant the Roman Empire really was. On education.nationalgeographic.org, it says, Ancient Rome had a, lar- had a large influence on the modern world. Though it, has thousands of year- though it has been thousands of years since the Roman Empire flourished, it, we can still see evidence of, of it in our art, agriculture, technology, architecture, technology, literature, language, and law. From bridges to stadiums to books and the words that we hear every day, the ancient Romans have left their mark on our world. I feel like that is so amazing. And, I, and 
to see it in person would just be amazing. Wow, Riley, that's really cool. My number three would have to be Hawaii because I just think it's such an awesome place. A cool fact about about it is that Hawaii is 90 million years old. I mean, that's crazy. It's so cool how how many places have been there for so long. It's also super cool that Hawaii is so nice, even though there's volcanoes that happen a lot, but it's just so nice. We're just loving the beaches today. And speaking of beaches, my number three is going to have to be Maui. So I already talked about one of the Hawaiian islands, but for that one, I was talking about the largest island, which is named Hawaii, which is like the capital of that state. However, I'm going to have to show some love to one of the smaller islands of the Hawaiian bunch. Now, I know that it isn't one of the smaller islands because it actually is the largest out of the second largest out of all Hawaiian islands. One of the many reasons why I want to visit the island is because of how beautiful the land is. All the hills mixed with the amazing nature factors just make it one of the most beautiful places in the world to me. And from one of those nature factors is the volcanoes that are there, which I think is pretty cool. That's awesome. That's awesome, Riley. Okay, my number two is also Maui. I think it, it, it's such a gorgeous place to visit, and I would really like to go sometime. But a cool fact about, about it is that Maui has many beautiful landscapes and tropical areas. It's so hot that I'd probably get sun poisoning. So getting back to, out of the islands, my number two is Greece. I have thought about going there before, and I still think that it would be such an amazing place to visit because of how beautiful the country is. I've seen the capital and the main building that stands there. I'm pretty sure that it's called Athens. It's very, and it's very beautiful, and it would be so cool to visit and see what it looks like up close. I did see on a website named AIFS Aboard, abroad that the ancient olympics that the ancient olympic games were never actually held there and i think that's a pretty cool fact that some people may not know about it wow riley that place is really cool i think greece is awesome my number one like the place my dream vacation is bora bora i think bora bora is so nice and beautiful There are a lot of sharks and stingrays, but who cares? I'm going swimming in the crystal clear water. A cool fact about Bora Bora is that Bora Bora has super nice beaches, which the views are so nice. And surprisingly, there are no insects on Bora Bora. I'm going to have to agree with you on Bora Bora being my number one place to visit. I've seen the beaches online, and they're so wonderful, and I would love to go visit there as well. And... If you've seen online that the they have like cabins on the water where you are like basically living on the water. I feel like if you were to go swimming in the water there with goggles, you could see everything around you and it would be such an amazing experience to experience. Wow, Riley. Looks like we have the same taste in our tropical vacations. We hope you all have an amazing day and think about these places next time you're planning a trip for where you want to visit. We hate to end it, but now we have shared our top 10 places to travel. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode and think about traveling here. Bye!